Hi everyone! Today I will show you how you may add your scanners list. The first thing you will need to do is to log in into your next one's account. Once you are logged in, in the profile section, which is located in the gray bar on top, you will find the preferences tab, which is right underneath the home tab. By clicking into the Preferences tab, you will get to your Scanners list. The reason why you need to input this information is for tracking purposes. In case that your office is audited, they will verify how your documents went from paper documents to scan documents, and this is the reason why you need to fill in your Scanners list. To do so, you may click on Edit on the top right corner of this page. In Scanners 1, put in the scanners that you mostly use. Of course, you only need to input your personal scanner because the brokerage scanner is already set up in the brokerage's profile. In Configuration 1, you may copy and paste the information of the suggested configuration that we offer in the right hand side of the page. By clicking on Control C on your keyboard to copy, then clicking the field next to Configuration 1, and select Control V on your keyboard to paste the information into the Configuration 1 field. Of course, you will need to make sure that your scanners preferences match the configuration that you have set up here. The reason why we suggest you this configuration is to minimize the size of your documents. Of course, there is no limit of how many documents you may add into the next one system, but there is a limit on how heavy your document can be. Our limit is 7 megs per document. The reason why we have set up this limit is to allow you to send more than one document at a time when you're sending out emails from next one. So this is our suggested configuration. The document type should be PDF. The scanning quality should be 300 DPI or medium quality. It should be in text mode or document mode, not in picture, and it should be in black and white. Of course, some more recent machines allow you to scan in color without having too heavy files. So, for Scanner 2, we suggest you to add an option that's called Email and Fax. The reason why we suggest you to add this is so that when you're adding documents, you will be able to choose these options. So you'll have to choose between your personal scanner, email and fax, or your office scanner when you're adding documents. Again, this is for tracking purposes only. Configuration 2 will be unknown. Since you don't know the configuration of documents you receive by email or by fax. And then thirdly, if you're using web forms, you should also add this as part of your scanners list. And the configuration, again, would be unknown. Once you're done with your scanners list, at the bottom right-hand side of the page, make sure to save the information that you've inputted. Thank you for taking the time for looking at this video.